Hey guys, it's Daniel. So, uh, I just wanted to check in real quick. And, uh, actually, I thought the, uh, I thought the next thing I would show you would be an M17, but my other project actually got here first. So this is going to be a baseline of my other project. And what that is going to be... It's going to be that right now. The uh, paper ball TCP. So, my how the tides have turned. So, um, <laughs> Ronan 337, when we first started being buddies on here, he had one of those, and I would have not owned one because uh, they're yellow. And, um, <laughs> but uh, anyway, so um, he's now. Uh, best of my knowledge, doesn't even have one of those anymore. He's got all FSCs. So here I am now with a TCP. However, uh, th that ain't gonna stay like that because uh, I don't like that. So, um, you know, for me, um, I'm uh, I am gonna do a couple of things that is that aren't all black. I swear. Well, I guess I already have the Joker and some purple on it, but. Only if you look for it. Um, <laughs> so, uh, but yeah, I, I typically, you know, I like, well, I kind of mix it up between uh, black and like uh, flat dark earth and stuff. So, um, I'm definitely, uh, definitely going to have a um, flat dark earth build in, you know, in a uh, carbine or a, a SMG build or something. Um, I like flat dark earth kind of stuff. It looks kind of cool, doesn't it? Anyway. Um, so, um, but what's going to happen with this one? I've already actually already got to what I'm doing. I'm going to change this to black and we're going to see, uh, we're going to put a different barrel and some different stuff on it. Um, <clears throat> right now, what we're going to do is just get a quick baseline reading on it. Um, and what we're going to do is I'm going to shoot, um, Okay, well, actually, I'm just going to do the uh, V2s right now because the, you know, the right balls are not close enough by. <laughs> I, packed the, uh, I packed the few that I had left up because I was going to see if I uh, could shoot Ballistic Joel today, but it was an opportunity, <laughs> the opportunity didn't arise, so... Uh, I'm going to stick up my bag outside, I just realized. Mm -hmm. Alright, so, uh, get a couple of baseline shots here. I am going to put... So this thing's, uh, this thing's like brand new, so... Um, you're actually, actually, i tell you what. This is not the mag, uh, that came with it. Um... This isn't the mag that came with it, but you are supposed to um, dry fire these um, when you first get them. At least that's what I remember the direction said. Put oil in them and uh, so safety on, focus off, and uh, one safe direction. Very nice click on that. Oh, wow, very, very nice. Um, so anyway, mm -hmm. safe direction. <laughs> Try to at least keep the you know focus of the, of the video. On the, uh, since it's you know new and like i say the, these these are mags from uh, one of my fsc's um 
I'm going to keep the two mags that came with that new. Uh, and it will, like when I'm done doing what I'm going to do with that, and I do go to sell it, please nobody get, want me to message them yet, and I'm still working out the details of how I'm going to sell the few things that I do make. But um, anyway, when it, when I do get rid of that as a package, the, uh, the, the two mags that came with it are going to be. And you guys got to realize, the stuff that I shoot, I pretty much, most, 90% of the, the shooting that I do is what you see me do on video. If it's something that's pertinent, you know, I might get the PPQ out or something and shoot just, you know, for fun or whatever, or the invader or whatever. But uh, most of the less lethal stuff is, um, I'm going to be basically what you're seeing. So anything that I have is not, it's not getting shot a whole lot, actually. That's not what you guys are seeing. So, but anyway, so it'll have, you know, two new of the eight gram mags in it. But, you know, oil this baby up a little bit. more times here. I'm not going to dry fire it this time. I'm just going to go ahead and um, load it up. So I think it's going to probably have plenty of lubrication. In there. I may be wrong, but safety on. Getting it all greased up. Nice click. Okay. Um, somebody commented one time about the uh, that that about the angle of the chronograph, and if I hadn't mentioned this before, I meant to. But um, sometimes it looks kind of funny in the camera. But yeah, I totally like I do have the the chronograph at an angle, but I have it at the angle that I'm actually shooting from. So I'm shooting at the same angle that I've got it at. Sometimes you can't sell that, see that because you don't see the angle that I'm shooting from. But um, uh, And sometimes I have got lazy. I've looked at some <laughs> videos that I have got lazy a couple times and uh, wasn't paying attention as much as I should have. Uh, but that is something that, you know, good thing to point out uh, is that, you know, if you're using one of these kinds, you kind of need to, you know, make sure you're shooting straight across it. And here we go. So this 174, um, and it's you know with the jewel V2. So it's 174, and nothing you know nothing's been turned up or anything like that. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and just you know. So what I'm what I'm what I'm gonna go ahead and do here, because there's no sense in no sense in playing around with this crap. So, I'm so sorry. Alright, All right, so I'm going to turn this until I get some, just a little bit of resistance, alright? Turns, right? So I went back, like bounced back, like a quarter, and then like three turns. So all right, one eighty-eight. Knocking them down now, son. All right. <laughs> Yeah. Mm -hmm. 
screw two, but we're getting loaded. So, I'm just going to go ahead and No, I'm not going to force that because it's been weird. Let's see here. Listen, that looked way cooler than it sounded like it looked. Safety direction, safety on. This is pretty much turned flight now. Yeah. All the way up with a uh, eight gram. 277. 241. 205. Okay. So 277, 241, 205. Right, that's our okay. 277. So 185. Okay. All right, so max of 277, you know, there you go. Um, <clears throat> yeah. All right, guys, so uh, mag loaded back up. So, uh, mag loaded back up, new CO2 cylinder. So, this is the um, Pepperball TCP with a factory 8 gram mag. Um, doo -doo -doo. Factory 8 gram mag, factory barrel, um, Grimberg V2 Jewel. So, this is basically uh, tur turned all the way up, screws turned us, you know, all the way, all the way, all the way. Let's double check that. It's about, now it's all the way all the way it's about a quarter turn from all the way but there's all the way all the way all the way all right <clears throat> it's probably isn't the best idea but it feels like you don't want to go back much either easily anyway at this point okay so here's how we're going to test it so this is basically out of the box this would be as strong as you could possibly get it with a jewel v2 and um here we go, and we'll get the best numbers for that. And that'll be the end of this video, and then we'll hit it with 12 gram and all that stuff at a later date and time, hopefully not too far from now. Here we go. Give 
Click. It's good to go. Nice. 237 210 191 164 and that's empty all right so there's the numbers on that and so it looks like a 277 on the last one Seventy three there. So two seventy three, two seventy seven. So that's basically uh, twenty eight joules, right? Uh, yeah, twenty eight joules. Twenty eight joules out of the box with uh, V twos. Um, we'll we will also do a uh, Canada right ball uh, test out of the box too.